A big welcome, please, for Henry Jaynes. So Henry Jaynes in the ring, his opponent for this super featherweight contest. From Bristol over the bridge, it's Pete Leeworthy. So, ladies and gentlemen, this first fight on the Hatton Promotions here at the Newport Centre, a super featherweight contest over six two-minute rounds between and introducing to you in the red corner wearing the black trunks from Cardiff, Henry Jaynes. Henry scaled nine stone, eight pounds, two ounces at yesterday's weigh-in. And away to my left in the blue corner, in the black and gold trunks, he's nicknamed the choir boy with a record of four wins and just one loss in his professional career. It's Pete Leeworthy. And Pete scaled nine stone, six pounds, two ounces at the weigh-in. Your timekeeper for this contest is Mr. Dave Walters and your referee in the ring is Mr. Clark Joslin. It's Lee Worthy against James. And what a big night of boxing we've got. What a big night it is for Pete Leeworthy this evening. Losing his last fight very surprisingly indeed. He's got a test tonight in Wales, Newport Leisure Centre against a man from Cardiff. Let's say a very good evening to the former flyweight world title challenger, Mickey Cantwell. Very good evening to you, Mickey. Good evening, Jed. It's great to be in Newport. Actually, the crowd's absolutely fantastic. You know, big atmosphere here. As you said in the introductions, Pete Levy's coming off. You know, devastating one, one round knockout loss. So it'd be great to see how he gets on here tonight. Well, he needs to start well. His first... Uh effort I guess will be to ensure that that there isn't a repeat of last time when he was very surprisingly knocked out in the first round no one was really expecting it at all uh, Pavel Senkos was the man who surprised him in he's front been, of his home crowd in Bristol he's been caught with a right hand over top there he's got hang on here I notice his legs buckle a little bit there with Lee Worthy James has obviously looked, watched the DVD from last time Lee Worthy's got to get his boxing going, and get his jab out there. Ever knocked out in the first round, Mickey? No, never, thank God. So you don't really know how you're going to, how someone would have to respond to this. I guess you just go back to the drawing board, or do you just put that to one side and say, "Look, I got caught. Move on to the next fight." You know, no full credit, call credit to Lee Worthy. You know, he's, he's taken a tough assignment here tonight. I know James hasn't boxed for a few years, but you know, as you can see, you know, he's, he's on home ground. He's come out guns blazing. So interesting to see what Pete Lever is all about, but obviously stepping back in so early after that crushing defeat, obviously thinks a lot of his of himself and his common men do as well. Absolutely, they do, and uh, yeah, he's got a tough fight on this uh, opening round. Six two-minute rounds in this super featherweight contest. Pete Lee with a lot expected. Is uh, part of the Hatton camp these days, uh, trained by Tex Woodward. Jane Couch involved as well in Bristol, the Spinorian Farm, and they uh, expect great things of him. And he started his career very, very well indeed with uh, four victories. And uh, no knockouts in that, incidentally, but people thought he was going to go on and uh, do some good things from Bristol. Glenn Catley is his uh, hero, of course, another Bristol boxer. But he uh, has got to just put that first, that first defeat, that last fight behind him. 
And he's done the first job, which is to, to survive that first round and, and, and forget all about what happened before. He certainly has, Jed. You know, he done really well in that first round. And, you know, you see he's very talented, you know. And I'm sure Tex will, wouldn't be putting him out if they didn't think he was. You know, and Jane Couch, as we know, she has a lot of... Um, does gives a lot of care of her fighters. You know, that was a tough first round for him. But, you know, he come through it. And you see he's got loads of talent. He took a lot of shots he took on the gloves. So, yeah, you know, I've, the first one ran out of way. So he goes from here. I remember we were doing the commentary on that defeat uh, a few months ago now, and uh, I was about to ask you about his talents, and before I had a chance to get an answer from you, he was on the canvas. So uh, what are his talents? What makes him such a, a, a good prospect for Tex? What I like about him, he, you know, he likes to use his brain. He's got a nice, you know, long-rangey boxing style. He uses his feet, which I've, I've noticed in his first four contests, really well, you know, gets in and out without getting hit too often. But as we said last time out, I think he might have got caught cold anyway. In fact, it was the 13th of June he lost that fight to uh, Pavel Senkos as round two starts. You say he uses his brain. I was uh, looking up uh, information on uh, Pete, the choir boy he's known as, uh, before the fight tonight. And uh, on his MySpace page, he talks about having only ever read one book <laughs> and it was called Attila the Hen. Ever read that? <laughs> no, no. At least he's honest. <laughs> but again, you know, he's come out his second round, trying to use his boxing skills, getting his jab off, you know. You can see Jay just hunting him down, trying to close the gap, find the more wilder shots. But again, you know, what I said earlier on about his footwork, you know, he's got really good, good balance and he's got to be careful that right hand over top though. He has, he's been caught a couple of times with it and he's, uh, you know, James has started extremely well. It's an odd one really. We're in Newport here at the Leisure Centre, almost uh, equidistant between Cardiff where James comes from and uh, Bristol where Lee Worthy comes from but I'm sure that the majority being the fact we've crossed over the Seven Bridge are uh, supporting James this evening they certainly are you can see that the crowds come out in their numbers tonight and this is an excellent contest it is a really good start and that's oh, a good shot superb <laughs> shot absolutely perfect right on the side of the jaw and James was down uh, very quickly, just getting checked out now by uh, the referee. Seems that he's going to be okay to continue, but that's just what uh, Lee Worthy really needed. It was his, virtually his first real contact. It certainly was. It's funny, he another good left hook there. This is what I said earlier, you know, this kid's talented. He's obviously got a lot of, a lot of guts about him as well, getting back in with a tough man. But he's taking the play away from Janus. As I was saying earlier, he's had his uh, four victories. None of those have been with a knockout, so that was as close as possibly he's come to uh, winning with a knockout. James, though, back on his feet very quickly. He's, yeah, he certainly was. He recovered well. But Pete Lee, for me, has gone a bit, a, a bit gung-ho there with his right hand. I think he's going to get back to his boxing, which I'm sure Tex would, 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 would tell him now. But calm down. You know, it was a good shot. But listen, hey, get back to the boxing. Let's win the rounds. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, certainly going to have won that round after putting his... Uh, opponent on the canvas here it is an absolutely perfect hit that just caught James Cold he certainly did and you know he had, he's back on the ropes there Lee Worthy so makes it even a better shot giving plenty of advice of course both boxers uh, between these rounds uh, James as we were saying uh, Mickey mentioned hasn't fought for some while now have to go back to 2005 I believe since he uh, last was in the ring, so uh, how difficult is that to come back from so long outside of, of boxing like this? It certainly is, you know, it's, been, it, it's like three years, it's over three years, and um, he's obviously missed the game, he's come back, he's obviously got himself in great shape, as we've seen the way he's fighting, nothing's changed with him, you know, he's all aggression, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes in his third round. There's not much between them in terms of age, just one year. 26 James, 25 Lee Worthy, but the last fight for James is way back in November 2005, and he hasn't won a contest since October 2004. So Lee Worthy, you'd expect to come out and really feel confident. It is a tough opponent, we've already said that, but he has started encouragingly and putting that defeat to Senkos well and truly behind him, and that's what he needs to do still, of course, at, uh, towards the start of his career. Because as we've been saying, great things expected of him, and he needs to kind of push forward and push on in his career after that defeat. I think this fight can make him, I really do, you know, for the future. Especially after what happened last time. Well, it's a good ding-dong battle in round three. Remember, it's uh, six two-minute rounds, short rounds that these uh, two are battling out this evening. In a, well, watched by a good crowd here at the uh, Newport Leisure Centre in South Wales. £5.40 it costs to get it here. 
<laughs> not in a leisure centre, into Wales. I know, I had the same problem. I thought, I thought, but I do believe you get out for nothing. You do, actually... yeah, yeah. Some might say you've got that the wrong way around, but not me. Some good body shots there from James again. Yeah, he's really going well. That's more of a slip this time, uh, for ending up on the canvas, James, but no more of the slip there, just being checked out, but we'll get on with the uh, action again almost immediately. But again, just uh, encouraging signs for Lee Worthy, who, as we're saying, it seems to have put that problem that he had, not that it was a problem, it was just core, wasn't he? And that he was it. It was, and that's what happens. You know, you can't go out and run and not get wet, as they say. But he's doing well here. Keep his, you know, his hands nice and tight. You can see James is the more the aggressor. You can see by the, the, the bit of blood ran Pete Lee with his nose. Like the way he actually slips the shots then, trying to get his jab going. Yeah, James has actually been uh, very impressive so far in this fight, considering, as we say, he hasn't actually fought for some while and hasn't won for even longer. But he's holding his own. He certainly is, and, you know, he's been at the ring for, for over three years. And you can see, you know, in the first three rounds, he's not paced himself, you know, he's putting everything into every second of each round. So who's ahead at this stage? You'd have to say Lee Worthy is shading it at the moment. I think he is. I think, you know, obviously with a knockdown and I think the third round now, the cleaner shots. But no, but James is still in this fight, you know, this is a close contest. Yeah, it is. As you saw the replay there, that was just a slip from James in that round. Uh, but Lee Worthy goes into the, uh, well, the halfway stage, he'll go into the second half of the fight full of confidence, I would imagine. He's got over that, what must have been nerve-wracking for him. It can't be easy, having surprisingly been knocked out in round one. As you say, it never happened to you, but it must be, you must, when you go out the next time, it's like, as I say, falling off the bike, you've got to get back on it again. No, that's a good point, you know. That's why we you know, we've got a mildish young man. He's got, he's got straight back in, he's come to the lion's den, and he's putting up a great show so far. The night brought to, as you can see, by HattonBoxing.tv, a Hatton promotion. And uh, Ricky Hatton, of course, a great support to this part of the world in South Wales and, of course, to Bristol, where later we'll see Bristol's favourite boxer at the moment, Danny Butler, in action. Really looking forward to that, but we've got some fantastic contests before then to really uh, warm up for that big fight later on. And this is a perfect start to this evening's entertainment. It really has been a quality contest between these two so far. A little bit of scrapping going on now, but uh, both are performing well. They certainly are, you know. Whenever Jane Cash is involved with a promotion, and I'm probably being, not being biased, but we always get a crack in nights boxing. Yeah. And it always, and there's not been a show I've been to where the boxing is absolutely first class. And again, we start off here tonight with a really good contest. And this is why people are turning out. It's uh, The message is getting around that Hatton Promotions means business and that the nights you come to are extremely professionally put on with some uh, very good fights as well. And uh, that's what we're seeing now as Janes just manages to uh, catch Lee Worthy there. That warms up this good support here at the Newport Leisure Centre. They no doubt want the Welshman to beat a man from across the bridge. For those uh, watching this that are not used to the battle between uh, Bristol and South Wales, it is fairly fierce, I it can tell you. It certainly is, and you're having a good round here, James, you know. He's taking the play away from Lee Worthy. I think Peter Lee has got, he's got to get back on his, on his boxing, get his jab going. Yeah, James is going well at the moment. He's completely forgotten that uh, punchy face earlier on when he uh, did hit the floor for a few seconds. He's obviously in excellent shape, you know, obviously been at the ring for a long time, but... He's, he's come back in his last couple of rounds. I'll, I'll get the, the third to lead with it, but this fourth round is having an excellent round. Yeah, he just gets caught a couple of uh, body, body shots, shots there, yeah. yeah. But uh, he still did pretty well there, James. Maybe that was his strongest round out of the four we've seen so far, despite the end from Lee Worthy. It certainly was, and um, for me, I think I've got to get that round to James. You can see him sucking up the air there. Here's a bit of the action from that round. Is that more aggression shots? we speak about earlier on. Yeah, not as clean as a uh, punch as we saw from Lee Worthy earlier on, but it was still good enough to just catch Lee Worthy. It certainly was. And you, you know, you can see there with Pete Lee, when he goes away, he actually drops his, his hands a little bit. You can see, you know, he's got to be careful because you get caught that right hand over the top. And that, of course, is what happened to him back uh, just in June when he was uh, defeated by uh, Senkos at the Marriott Hotel in Bristol in the first round. And uh, we were there that night in front of his home crown. There was a... A sudden hush. Well, I think even we were shocked, Jeb, wasn't yeah, we? Yeah, we were, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we're into uh, round five. And it's been a very good contest so far. I have read further down, incidentally, that uh, MySpace of Pete Leeworthy, and he said he once only read one book, which was uh, Attila the Hen. He since has read, quite rightly, Joe Calzaghi's book. I should think there's a lot of people in this arena who've what, they've read uh, Joe Calzaghi's book, and indeed Jane Couch's as well, which is a, a fine read. Again, both fine world champions, you know, Jane and Joe, and I'm, I'm sure inspirations to this young man. And it must help again, it's not only those two we're talking about, it's with Tex, of course, a very, very oh. experienced trainer. Having Ricky Hatton involved too, he talks uh, endlessly about the, it was his dream to meet Ricky Hatton. Here he is on a Hatton promotion do again and uh, must be absolutely loving the experience that he's getting from this. It's amazing to, you know, to have the Hatton brand behind you. Obviously, you know, Ricky's our most loved fighter, one of the best fighters ever produced in Great Britain. Um, but, but to actually be a part of this... This roller coaster ride, Hattons are putting on shows all over the country. Next show is going to be the Velodrome, 21st of August in Manchester. Where we've got to come back in David, David Barnes and Michael Brody, Andy Morris, and Olympian Joe Murray, just to name a few that are going to be fighting. Well, Lee Worthy up against the ropes in this fifth round and is taking a few uh, shots to the body as James is really coming back well. Now Lee Worthy needs to find something from here because having, uh, I wouldn't say dominated the opening half of the fight tonight, he certainly had the better of it, but James is coming back stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, remarkable, really. You said it, mentioned his fitness. His fitness is, his levels are right up there. He certainly is. He, he's bullying Lee Worthy out of this, you know. But Lee Worthy, for me, he's not using his boxing skills. He's not getting his jab off. And James is just plugging away, you know. It's been drawn into a little shots. bit of a scrap, hasn't it, he here? He certainly has. And, you know, he's throwing twos and threes, James, but Lee Worthy's just throwing his single shots. Well, we Games. approach the end of uh, the fifth round, and James going well and finishing well as well in that uh, penultimate round. Yeah, I've got, I agree with you then. I think that's, that's another round in the bag for James there. Well, you can't ask for a better start from the uh, fights we've got on tonight. We've got one that's going to go to the wire, of course, and difficult at this stage, Mickey Cantwell. How to call it? There's not a lot in this fight, Jed. You know, I'm not sitting on the fence. I don't like to do that. I think it's all to play for the last round, I think. James for me is even the score up, you know, with the knockdown rule. You know, as our viewers, I'm sure, are aware, that, that calculates as a two point round. But for me, James Light has, has actually nicked the last two rounds. Be interested to see the referee score this contest. Yeah. So it's all to play for this brand for me. Yeah, not much between the two fighters. Obviously, uh, James has got a bit more experience. He's uh, won Boy, six with seconds. a knockout. He's lost 15, has been knocked out four times as well. Box 93 rounds overall to Leeward is 21. So he does have uh, a lot more experience. But as we've been saying, hasn't been in the ring for some while. Nothing between them really in terms of weight, just a couple of pounds difference. Uh, James, the slightly heavier of the two, nine stone eight pounds to nine stone six. Uh, so we're into the final round and as uh, Mickey was saying it's a tough one to call it, it already comes down to the last couple of minutes it certainly has and I noticed Lee with this, this you know, begin this round the first 20 seconds using his boxing skills you know working his jab you know twos and threes trying to score I'm sure Tex will say to him listen you know you've got to win this last round like I'm sure James Collins said to him as well but it's nice to see Lee Worthy, you know using his boxing skills again yeah because he started off so well and he had that uh, he put his uh, opponent on the floor, and you thought from there he would go on and win the fight quite easy. Anything but, and James is finishing strongly here. He's got his man in the corner. He'd already just laid a couple of good punches on his opponent, and then pushed him to the corner as well. And it's James who's really looking good in these final moments of this. That's uh, something of a push, I think, rather than anything else there. Gets a smile from uh, Pete Leeworthy. At least he's enjoying himself out there. James is grown in confidence. You can see the way he's dropping his hands, and obviously feels he's a stronger man. As you say, throwing in big body shots again. And he's struck and uh, connected with one or two of them. Lee Worthy needs to finish strongly here. It really would be, uh, I wouldn't say a disaster, but it wouldn't be great for the movement of his career after starting off so well. As I was saying earlier, so much expected of him. Then that surprise defeat, Tex and the team would have just been, get out there, Pete, and get out there and win tonight. However you do it. Well, we'll wait and see in a few seconds' time whether he's managed to do that. But James is the one who is finishing possibly the strong of the two, although Lee Worthy does get a punch in there, but James is straight back onto him quickly. This is nip and tuck for me. 
is going to be a very interesting call. We are just seconds away from the end of this first bout tonight. There it is, the end of it, and it's James that gets the nod. It must have been close. Pete, Wor Pete Leeworthy looks uh, very disappointed and very upset by it, but well done to uh, Henry James, who didn't start particularly well, but has come back and won extremely well. Well, he, he won the last three rounds, I think, at sight, and um, what's interesting for me, as we can see here by the tape, his work rate, he just threw the biggest shots. I think Pete Lee will, you know, will be pleased with himself getting back in, and um, he's just got to look at it. He's a young man. I'm sure he can come again. He's just got to learn from that, but an excellent wing now for Henry James. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing your appreciation for both boxers for our opening contest. And the result, the referee scored that contest 58 points to 55 points in favour of Cardiff Henry James. And your appreciation, please, for Bristol's Pete Leeworthy. So a great start to the evening here at the Newport Centre. Now Congratulations, first uh, fight for, what, three or four years oh, and, yeah. and, and you come back yeah, with yeah. a victory. Yeah, it is, it's nice, sir. But as I said, uh, you've got to come back, do something here. So I had a break, it done me good. <laughs> and this is one of the reasons, your little Henry here, why you've not been fighting? Oh, well, yeah, why well, am, because he was born and they got another one on now already come. And that's the way, like, now they big off. I'm happy I did it, done the world of good. Uh, and a tough fight, obviously. Pete lost his last fight, but he started well and got you on the canvas. He caught, he caught me with a good like, you know? Like, it hurt me, but not so much as it's how I felt like, you know? But they said a good shot anyway. It was there to watch, so it went down. <laughs> Yeah. And great to be fighting Cardiff lad, fighting in Newport, tremendous yeah, support first, tonight. I, I, I boxing Cardiff, I had 21 fights before, first time I boxing Cardiff is now, you know, because I've always been away boxing. Well, many congratulations, well done. Thank you very much, yeah.